Hey everyone, this is Tony Reeves. If you like my content or have any suggestions, please let me know. And by all means, make sure you share. The only way I can get my word out is you help me get the word out as well. How many times have you found yourself in a position of wanting to ask an attorney a question and the attorney was hesitant about answering? And I'm not talking about where you've gone to a specific attorney for a specific area. I mean, you just know somebody who's an attorney or you've reached out to some firm who's, who's commercial you've seen and you've got a question. I, I just got a question. And you're trying to figure out why the, rep, the attorney won't speak to you. Let me give you a few reasons why. They may not know all the facts. Most times when people ask questions, they think the question speaks for itself, meaning it has all the facts lumped into it so that the attorney can answer it. But the, the simple fact is that if the attorney know, doesn't know everything, their answer is going to change depending on all the facts they know. So if they're listening to a question that sounds like it could be a little bit more complicated than what you think it is, they may be hesitant about ask, answering those questions because they're not totally sure of all the facts involved. And it might actually be outside of their area of expertise. If you're asking a tax law question to somebody who does family law, who never does tax law, or you're asking an employment law question to an intellectual property attorney, they've all had legal training, but that's still outside of their expertise they may not feel comfortable giving you any feedback in those particular areas because they don't want to hurt your situation by giving you information or giving you their opinion where they don't do that area on a regular basis where they're intimately familiar with the law and all the changes in the law. They don't want to put you in a more hurtful situation. They may even be in a different jurisdiction. If you're calling an attorney that you know in another state, about something that's a state law issue in your state, if they don't practice in that state, they may be very leery about giving you information because anything they tell you is based on their knowledge of their own state, not necessarily yours. And attorneys are very keen to whether or not you've been talking to other attorneys. So they don't know if you've talked to anybody or what anybody else has told you. Now, don't think that that's me implying that an attorney doesn't want to talk to you if you talk to another attorney as if they're competing like that. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that if an attorney has already given you some feedback and you're doing what we call attorney shopping, you're shopping around for an attorney to basically tell you what you want to hear. They worry because if, they, if another attorney told you something, they're not sure if what they told you is going to contradict what they say. Or more or less, you gave more information to the other attorney and less information to them. So when they give an answer and it's contradicting what the other person says, well, they, they can only tell you based on what you've told them. They can't account for what you told the other person. They don't want to be sued or get a bar complaint. I can tell you as a practicing attorney, when I used to practice in the day, I was hypersensitive to protecting my license. And one of the biggest things I did was make sure that I didn't say anything or do anything dumb that would put myself in a crazy situation. And attorneys, we do this all the time. We are hypersensitive to anything that may put our license in our line on, on the line or our ability to earn revenue. So if they're if you're asking a question that they believe will put them in a situation where one, if they say something really wrong, you may sue them, or two, if they say something that may result in you filing a bar complaint against them, they're not gonna put themselves in that situation. It may cost more money than actually doing the, answering the question. And what I mean by cost, I don't mean cost from a cost standpoint, meaning your question may not be one they can just simply answer without you paying them something. And that's a hard thing. And if they know you're not in a position, because sometimes people call leading off with, oh, I just got a really quick question. That tell, when you say, I got a really quick question, you're telling the attorney you're not really interested in paying. You just want them to use their expertise that they've acquired and give you a quick answer. Well, if it's not a quick answer, they're going to have to charge you because it's going to take a while for them to provide you the input that you're looking for.